All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rachachwidash, for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Shalom to the men, the prophets that are preaching and teaching out there on the highways and byways, in sincerity and in truth. Shalom to the hopeful elect, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, whom the Lord will have mercy on in these latter days. And uh, I want to get this. Uh, this article to point things out and I'm gonna further beat beat a dead horse and keep pushing this out because you know at the end of the day the you know prophecy is unfolding at such a rapid pace that uh you know you have to speak on it you know <laughs> until until Jay gets it until the all the elect is sealed and until the Heavenly Father has said enough all right the work is done now it's time to be tested all right who's sealed is who's sealed then this thing keeps coming out man and now you can see this headline here it's yet uh another indicator that prophecy is taking place and confirming where we are in the timeline which is in the very last second of this kingdom all right uh this says jupiter saturn to form closest great conjunction in 800 years all right. Now, if you know anything about Jupiter and Saturn, uh, Jupiter is the largest object in the sky besides the sun and the moon. Like when you look out there and I ain't talking about according to like Esau science, like Esau tell you, you know, Jupiter is, you know, two point something million miles wide and all of that, all of that nonsense. But when you just look out in the heavens in the night sky, you know, besides the sun and the moon, the largest object is Jupiter and uh, Saturn, I believe, was the second largest object. All right. So let me read a little bit of this uh, this article real quick. Um, it says the world will soon see a planetary phenomenon that hasn't occurred in 800 years. It says on December 21st, note that date. All right. The, the, the date of the December solstice. All right. So <laughs> here you have, you know, and Esau likes to get into solstices and see Esau worship, you know, shit like this, you know. Uh, now we know that there there's value the uh, the tribe of Issachar used to uh, look into the heavens and, to, and divine certain times you know especially in the, in the context of war um, and we know that the heavens are up there to give us signs of things you know but there's the matter of being able to uh, to discern them I'm not I can't discern the signs you know I'm not saying uh, exactly what all of this means but the scriptures do say that we would see signs in the heaven that we do know, you know, and that uh, and this alignment is, is is rare, you know, and it's not a, a coincidence of when th these alignments are, are happening and when they're occurring. Uh, let me keep reading. It says the largest planet in our solar system and ringed Saturn, the second largest, will line up perfectly to to look like a double planet in the night sky. It says the two planets will be so close together, they will appear to be touching, uh, separated by one fifth the diameter of a moon, of a full moon. It will be the closest they've appeared uh, since March 12, 26. <laughs> Ain't that crazy? Now, when, when I, the reason that stuck out to me is... Uh, when I first just uh, pictured it and I went to this app, you brothers can uh, download it on your computer. It's called Stellarium, where you could just uh, you can basically look throughout all the stars, the constellations. You can move up the timeline a week. Uh, you can move up the timeline uh, a year. You can go you can go a thousand years back in time and see where the planets were and all and all of this. Don't get too caught up too much in that. I, I look in there every now and then, but I had happened to pull this up and look at it. And uh, you know what it, it reminded me of, man, through the spirit was the, 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 those two, the house of Judah and the house of Ephraim coming together. You know, that's the first thing in my spirit that rang true, that rang out in, in my spirit um, was, was that, you know, Judah and Ephraim, you know, coming back together because we're in those times to where, hey, man, the tribes are about to unite, man, you know. The tribe, the tribes are, are getting ready. The elect is getting ready to be sealed. And the elect, we all know, goes across all 12 tribes. All right. The northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. 
So when I saw that, it that's what just that's what they reminded me of, you know. Um, and I'm not saying that that's what it indicates or that's what it means or anything like that. That's just that's just the first thing that came to my spirit, you know. Um, and and because it's the two biggest planets, you know. And when you see, you see, uh, when I look at it in the sky, when they when they come the closest together, uh, you have Jupiter right below it, and then you have Saturn kind of right on top of it. And they're like really, really close to each other. And there's moons around it too. So, you know, when I when I saw it, you could you could uh you could see it in that way. Um, let me keep going. It says the two planets have been brilliant highlights of the night sky for much of this year. All right. And are now getting closer together in advance of their super close pairing in mid December. All right. Uh See, I believe that's the main that's the main point on that. But we know that uh, we would see signs in the heavens. All right. So let me get let me get a scripture real quick, because that's what we do. <laughs> this is uh, Luke 21. And uh, I'll start at 10. It says, uh, then he said unto them, this is Yahweh Shai speaking. Uh, nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places and famines and pestilences and fearful sights. So not only are we going to see, uh, you know, things going on in the heavens, but but we're going to see fearful sights, man. We're going to see, you know, apparitions, very strange things. We're not going to be able to. We're going to be like, what? <laughs> hey, it's gonna, hey, when the Lord starts to heat this thing up, man, it's going to be undeniable that there is a that there is a most high power. All right. And then, you know, all you all you atheists, all you Christians, y'all going to be having y'all going to have all these questions, man. And y'all not going to have any answers. All right. Because the, the most High has put this wisdom in his in his prophets, the men that have been faithfully and diligently doing the work. That that's been that's been pushing the true gospel, the true gospel, according to Isaiah 61. All right. That and, and, and taking all type of heat and flack for it being called names that that's who he's shown the the uh the wisdom to man who's given the wisdom to it says and great signs shall there be from heaven all right and and these are the things that we would see before you know the the trouble the time of Jacob's trouble really starts to heat up which we're which we're at that point right now where the heat's getting getting ready to be turned all the way up you know but that's not the only thing in this article. There's another one here. It says, uh, December 14th, total solar eclipse. This total solar eclipse, uh, the last eclipse of 2020, all right, is visible from Chile and some parts of Argentina in the afternoon. Some regions in southern South America, South, Southwest Africa, uh, and Antarctica will see uh, a partial solar eclipse. And I'll get it on the map where, where you're going to be. This is this line right here, that pink line. That's the, uh, that's, that's the path of uh, what they call the path of totality, uh, of 100% totality. And when you see an eclipse, it looks basically like that. The moon, and it's always a new moon, by the way. So whenever there's a, a solar eclipse, it's always on a new moon, which means it's always on the Shabbat. All right. So that 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 new moon, that new month for uh, December 14th, that is a solar, a major uh, event. It's a solar eclipse. And it's going over uh, the Naphtali region. Right. Well, our brothers out there in uh, Argentina and Chile down there in the southwest where the scripture said that Naphtali would dwell in the Southwest. All right. Now this is, this is literally one week before December 21st, which is, which is the solstice, right? Where, where that, where that Jupiter and Saturn planetary alignment occurs. So that planetary alignment, when they become the closest is also on the Shabbat. All right. <laughs> it's just seven days after that, that first new moon, which is seven days after this solar eclipse, man. So, there are things going on in the heavens, man, and and I, I can't tell you and break down what exactly what they mean, but I do know it has to mean something, 
because you see all hell breaking loose everywhere. You see uh, uh, things heating up. You feel the tension in this place. You feel the spirits. You know, there's more bug outs than ever. And then there's more people uh, being brought into the truth more than ever, you know, and, and, and things are just getting more intense and, and, and heated up. So you can't say that this is a coincidence. All right. And, and that, that's a beautiful thing, man. And that's one of the reasons why uh, the northern and southern kingdom thing came to me with with uh, with Jupiter and Saturn. But you brothers, let me know what y'all think, you know. Uh, but we, we do know that there will be signs in the heavens that the most high will show us. Let's get Joel 2 real quick and I'll close it. Um, um, let's see. Uh, this is Joel 2, and I'll start at 28. It says, uh, and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, all right? And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. We're the sons and daughters, all right? In this day, all right? And, and that and that's what we're doing, you know? Prophesy just means to say before. It, does, it doesn't mean that you're getting, uh, you know, exactly new new prophecies laid out that you're speaking out, but you're still speaking on the prophecies that the Most High gave the prophets of old, you know, just speaking those things out, re saying those things, you know, speaking them out into the world, speaking them into existence. Th those, those things are powerful things, and that is prophesying, all right? Uh, it says, your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions, <laughs> all right? And, hey, I pray that I get a vision, man, you know? I pray, you know, anything that helps boost your faith. When you see signs in heavens, man, that that's a major sealer for the elect, man. <laughs> you know, when they see things like that occur, because some 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 guys require more faith than others. You know, not some some people, man, they they the spirit can just hit them and they they know exactly 100 percent. The prophecies are real, that they're an Israelite and it doesn't take as much. And some other guys have to see things, you know, Um. And, 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 you know, to each man its own, to each brother his own. It says, your young men shall see visions and up and also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. So the spirit of the heavenly father is, is about to hit this place like a tidal wave, man. And, and I and I believe it's, 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 it's basically here, you know. It says uh, the main point. And I will show wonders in the heavens. All right. So him showing wonders in the heavens is, is, is going into what we're on with that, with the most high pouring out his spirit upon our flesh that we prophesy. It says, we, I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. <laughs> and that's that's definitely coming. All right. It says the sun shall be turned into darkness. And we know what this is going into. This is this is getting into the, the final uh, the final countdown is that that uh, Edomite song goes. Uh, uh, it says the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord. Yahweh come. All right. So this hasn't happened yet. So we're in that time where this is getting ready to happen. All right. It says, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord Yahweh shall be delivered. So you do need the name for all you, uh, you fucking uh, reprobate niggas, man, that say that, that we don't have the name or you don't need to call on the name. Like you, that the name is extremely important. All right. Joel is pointing out and Peter actually quotes this in Acts second chapter. That who, who will call on the name will be delivered. They will be saved. All right. It says, for in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance. So that's a cut on all you other, uh, <laughs> all you other, like the heathen can make it, you know, Esau can make it. There, there's no mention of, of, of any heathen here. It says, for in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance. <laughs> It says, as the Lord Yahweh hath said, 
and in the remnant whom and the remnant is the elect and in the remnant whom the Lord Yahweh shall call. All right. So it's not not only uh, do you need to be of Zion and Jerusalem, as it's written here, which is which is which are Israelites, but you have to be of the elect. All right. So only the elect are going to call on the name and be delivered at the end of the day, you know. So uh, great things are happening, brothers. Prophecy is unfolding at a rapid, rapid pace, you know, and uh, I just wanted to share that with y'all because now it's not the time to get weak. Now it's not the time to second guess, to doubt. All right. This thing is about to turn up very, very quickly. Um, so with that, hopefully y'all will edify. Shalom. I love y'all brothers. Call Halal Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rachakwadash. Shalom. Wa Ababa Ball.